In this video, I will explain the geometric meaning of asymptotes and the different types of asymptotes that the graph of a function may have. I'm going to begin with an idea. This will be a bit vague, it's just the idea of what an asymptote is. I have a line I'm calling L and a curve I'm calling C in the plane. Perhaps the curve is the graph of a function, although this is more general. I want to say what it means that the line is an asymptote for the curve. This is going to mean that the line and the curve become arbitrarily close as we move away from the origin in one direction. To make this a bit more precise, arbitrarily close is going to mean that the distance between the line and the curve has limit zero somehow. And I could make that rigorous, but I want to leave it as is. And I notice as I move away from the origin in one direction, this only needs to happen in one direction. I like this idea, even though it's a bit vague, because it summarizes what all asymptotes are, and it works for all types of asymptotes. I don't have to give different explanations for horizontal, vertical, or slant. Let's look at some examples. I have the graph of a function in blue and a line in red. And here it is the case that when I move away from the origin horizontally to the right, the two become arbitrarily close. The distance between them has limit zero. The same thing happens here, even though now the line is vertical. But it's still true that when I move now upwards, the distance between the line and the curve has limit zero. They become arbitrarily close. And the very same thing happens in this case, even though the line is now not horizontal or vertical, it's flat. Notice that the graph of a function may have more than one asymptote. For example, this graph here has four asymptotes. It has one as x approaches to minus infinity, which is horizontal. It has a vertical asymptote as x approaches minus one, another vertical asymptote as x approaches one, and finally, slant asymptote as x approaches infinity. And finally, one more comment. If you learned about asymptotes in high school, perhaps you were taught that an asymptote is a line that becomes closer and closer to the curve, but it never touches it. That's not correct. The never touches it part is irrelevant. For example, here is a graph that has a horizontal asymptote and the two intersect. And here's another one where they not only intersect once, they intersect many, many times. But it is still true that as I move towards the right, the graph and the line become arbitrarily close and the limit of the distance between them approaches zero. All right, so we know what asymptotes are. Now let's go through the three types one by one to figure out how to calculate them. Let's begin with vertical asymptotes. Now I have a function f and a vertical asymptote will have equation x equals a constant. So let's call that constant a. For example, this red line here. And I want to know what it means for the vertical line x equals a to be an asymptote for f. That would mean for the graph of f. Well, according to our intuition, that means that the limit as x approaches to a, either on the left or on the right, of the function is either plus or minus infinity. Notice there are four conditions here, and I only need one of them. As long as one of them is satisfied, I do have a vertical asymptote. For example, if the limit as x approaches a on the right of f of x is infinity, then the curve will look something like what this blue piece does, and it approaches the vertical line and they become arbitrarily close. If instead the limit is minus infinity, I will get something like this. And if instead, I have the limits on the left of A, and the equivalent thing happens. And again, I only need one of those four things. For example, all these functions here, they all have vertical asymptotes. I'm writing them here so you can see the variety of types of functions that will encounter vertical asymptotes. Sometimes we think of a vertical asymptote as the denominator is zero, but that's very restrictive. It's more general. It's any point where the limit of the function is plus or minus infinity, no matter how. In the next video, I will work out one example in detail on how to find all the vertical asymptotes from the equation of the function. Now, the second type of asymptotes are horizontal asymptotes. So like before, let's begin with a function. I'm going to look at this graph and a real number L. Now I'm looking for a horizontal asymptote, so it will be something like this red line here, y equals L, a constant. When will the function have an asymptote like this? Well, whenever the limit as x approaches plus or minus infinity of the function is L. And again, I only need one or the other, in only at infinity or minus infinity. If I have both, okay, that works too. So for example, here is the graph of a function that has limit L at infinity, and yes, the graph and the line become arbitrarily close as I move towards the right. Again, same thing happens here, and same thing happens here, and I could have the same types of examples as X approaches to minus infinity. All of these equations describe functions that have horizontal asymptotes, sometimes at infinity, sometimes at minus infinity, sometimes both, sometimes both, but they are different. I present them here again to illustrate the variety of functions that will have horizontal asymptotes. In the next video, I will work out in detail how to find the horizontal asymptotes of one function given the equation. And finally, the third type of asymptotes, slant asymptotes. That just means that they are neither horizontal nor vertical. So here's my setup. I have a function f, 
and a line that I'm going to describe as y equals mx plus b, where m and b are constants. Um, some people like to impose the condition m is not zero, because otherwise it would be a horizontal line. I like to think that horizontal asymptotes are a particular case of slant asymptotes. I want to say what it means that this line is an asymptote of f, or the graph of f, and using the idea that it means the two become arbitrarily close, that the distance between them goes to zero, I'm going to write this condition. f of x minus mx plus v, that's going to be the vertical distance between the two graphs, the vertical distance, and I want this vertical distance to have limit zero as x approaches infinity or minus infinity. Like before, it is enough that just one of these two things is zero. There are, like for the other types, many different types of functions that have slant asymptotes. For example, these four functions, they all have a slant asymptote. In the next videos, I will work up some examples of how to compute the asymptotes given the equation.